Welcome to another edition of Tom's Tech Tips. Today, we're going to talk about marketing automation. And if you remember in the Revenue Zone tech stack, marketing automation is kind of a key component of that. There's a lot of questions that have come up recently is about how you use that in the context of the Revenue Zone and to drive prospects into the Revenue Zone. So that's what we're gonna take a look at today. And before we jump into that, I wanna just define quickly what marketing auto automation functionality is all about. So marketing automation is based around starting with a contact where you have an email address or you may also have a phone number that you could potentially use for texting or SMS messages, but it's all very contact centric. Or generally there are three primary functions with marketing automation. One is to send individual emails or SMS campaigns. So I call them one-off campaigns. The second is, is to set up what are called drip campaigns or sequences where you send a series of emails over time, but it's basically the same emails, but you're dripping it out to those contacts over a, a designated period of time. And then the third, which is we're going to jump into, I think is the most interesting, is the ability to send smart sequences of emails or text messages based upon contact actions and behavior. So based around what a contact is doing and how they're behaving, you can actually drive what emails or text messages are being sent. Now this works differently in different products. You see some of the different products. I just put a handful of them here, but basically most marketing automation tools are going to have these capabilities in some way, shape or form, even though they may be implemented or set up differently for each product. So there are two scenarios that we want to look at as it relates to the revenue zone. The first on the left is prospecting. And what that is, what we're talking about there is how are we using marketing automation to get prospects into the revenue zone. So over in that you know, lower um, left-hand corner where it says awareness and know, how do we get people into our revenue zone initially? That's what we're gonna call prospecting. And we'll look at that. And then secondly, once they're in the revenue zone, how do we use marketing automation to guide them more efficiently into that revenue zone? And we're gonna focus and start now on prospecting. So, in order to get uh, prospects into the revenue zone, we can do two things. We can send individual email campaigns, like we mentioned, or we can send drip campaigns that are based on a predefined schedule. Again, most of these things are things that you've probably done before with email tools or marketing automation tools. So some key things to keep in mind here is make sure that the email is focused on content that will trigger the prospect to begin or possibly restart their yellow brick road journey. So what you want to do is get them focused or get the email focused so that it's pointing to a clear call to action around moving them into the to their yellow brick road. And I recommend keeping the emails very short, simple, and using just text message or just text, not a lot of images or graphics. And again, you only want to link to yellow brick road content. So you don't you want to link to content that's going to start moving them on their journey up the yellow brick road. So some don'ts in this area is sending newsletters or something else that does not directly link the prospect or put the prospect back onto the yellow brick road. And what we also want to do is avoid, as I mentioned before, lots of graphics and images. We want to keep the email very simple, very focused on this objective of getting somebody into the revenue zone and moving on their yellow brick road. Now, one of the things that comes up quite commonly is how do you track opens and clicks? And the problem is, is that tracking opens and clicks is becoming more and more unreliable, especially with all of the Apple, Apple iOS um, updates and privacy protection uh, components. So tracking clicks, opens in particular is unreliable, but even tracking clicks is becoming less and less reliable, mainly due to spam filters and other email security pieces. So you're better off to use site tracking or on-site tracking to actually see who actually goes to a website or your website based on those um, pieces that are there. We'll talk more about that in future episodes. So the second scenario then is guidance. So once we have somebody in our revenue, uh, revenue zone matrix, we want to guide them. We want to move them up our yellow brick road into the revenue zone. So how can I use marketing automation to do that? Well, we have the ability to send smart sequences based upon their actions and behaviors. So for example, if we bring somebody into the revenue zone to uh, consume a video or read a blog post or whatever the case may be, 
And based on that action, we can then trigger another email that then takes them to the next step in that yellow, yellow brick road uh, journey. So we're using smart actions and sequences to drive the next step along the way. And this is very important in our yellow brick road because we wanna lead the prospect through that journey in that proper sequence. So this is a really good strategy for guiding prospects on the yellow brick road. So for example, let's assume that the first step of your yellow brick road is you want your prospect just to read some information about your product, about your company, something that indoctrinates them into what you do and, and why it's important. And then what you've learned is that by doing that, and when they know a little bit about your company, the next step that is in your yellow brick road sequence is to actually have the prospect watch a demo. So your smart sequences can be set up to say, okay, when a prospect goes to the page where they read about the company, now we can in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, five minutes, an hour, whatever the case may be, send them another email that then takes them to the next step, which is to watch that demo on the yellow brick road. So we're driving our sequences based on their behavior and where they're at. Once they've watched the demo, then we could take them to another email that then recommends that they watch a case study or see a customer testimonial, or again, whatever makes sense for your yellow brick road definition. So again, we're using this to drive and guide the prospect through the yellow brick road. So a few do's in this area is always focus on a single call to action to consume content or other action on your yellow brick road. So just keep it very focused on what they should be doing next. However, it is a smart idea to provide a short summary of the content that you're guiding them to and why it's relevant. Again, short, maybe two or three sentences so they know when they click what they can expect and why it's important. And again, the same as we said before, send, send, send simple, short, text-based emails. And some don'ts are, do not provide multiple co uh, calls to action in the email. Because again, the yellow brick road is designed on a very specific sequence. And if you give the prospect choices and they go off in different directions, that's not guiding them effectively up your yellow brick road. And don't, don't make it difficult to find the call to action. You know, make it very, very clear. As I said, just a short summary of what this is about. Very, very clear call to action. Make it right up at the top of the email, what you want them to do. Don't make them look for it. And again, avoid lots of graphics and images. Keep it very simple and very text-based. So these are the two scenarios where you can really take advantage of marketing automation, again, prospecting, and then which is moving somebody into your yellow brick road and into your revenue zone matrix, and then guidance for guiding them from the lower left-hand corner into the upper right-hand corner into the revenue zone. So hopefully this helped give you a bit more understanding of how marketing automation fits into the revenue zone tech stack, and we'll see you on the next episode.